Hi, so this is uh, probably the rarest piece of electronics we've ever had uh, at Populux in our 20 plus years. Certainly it's the rarest record player that we've ever had, a portable version. It's called the Tapo Contact and what you're seeing now, it kind of looks like a, uh, a ladybug. This is the way it's meant to be uh, stored when you're not using it or when you're carrying it over to your uh, next party. But uh, I wanted to show you guys how it puts together. So you take these off. These are actually the speakers. You see the speakers with the speaker wire. The other one comes off the same way. And I plug into the back here. This is uh, from the late 60s, from what I've been able to uh, discover online, and uh, I believe it's uh, from France. There's not a lot of info about them online. So once you get them set up, they actually look pretty cool if you do them like this. got a BSR turntable. Well, it's actually a pretty nice model. Uh, balance, bass, treble, volume. It has an automatic uh, record selector built into it. Um, plays uh, 33s, 45s, and 78s and 16s. Um, because it uses an induction motor, this is a little bit of science for you guys, it actually operates uh, differently for the US market. Uh, even though I've got it set to accept a 110 current, I'm just using a, an AC adapter to put it into the wall. Because our uh, hertz frequency is at 60 and European is at 50, the motor inside of this one, this particular model, um, makes the uh, turntable play at a higher rate of speed than it should if it was in Europe. So in Europe, this thing would sound perfect. However, in America, because of the 60 hertz of our electricity, it makes the turntable move faster and basically everybody sounds like chipmunks. So, to give you a demonstration, and on our go to record of choice here at Populux. I believe it can be fixed to work in the American market. You guys would need to take it to an electronic shop. There's one here in uh, Orlando called the Little Electronic Shop. And uh, he believes that he can have it changed to a, a different size. I think it's called an idler wheel inside, which would make the record player uh, run at a correct rate of speed, which would make the record sound correct. So uh, it's a very cool piece of, of retro tech. Unfortunately, it doesn't work quite right in America, but still, it is a pretty dandy and great record player to have. Thanks for watching.